Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6617 in Candy Crush Saga, and if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing, that in turn would help me out. So let's take a look at this, we've got 25 moves just to collect one dragon. Dragon looks like it's going to start from here. I kind of giggled when I started this because I thought, how many more things can they throw at us? We've got cutouts, which are always, almost always, my my least favorite part of the board. I wish we had one big palette here. So we have cutouts. We have licorice locked licorice. We have sugar chests. We have cake bomb. We have toffee. We have rainbow twists. We have conveyor belts. We have portal systems. So I, I need to open these up, and I need to, well, yeah, since it's collected here, I also need to take this out. I was going to say, presumably, I need to remove this. I do. Lots of things need to be done. I've got striped dispensers here, but I've got an opportunity to make a raft right away, and that's really good against something like a rainbow twist, I think. Now, notice I'm not getting a key coming out yet, and that's a little bit disconcerting. There's that key. Here, we're going to do this. There we go. Rainbow twists defeated. Those are neutralized. Now, I'm going to try to clear this area out so I have a good approach to that cake bomb. Do I need, need, need to clear out the toffee? No, it's not part of the job. But my life will be so much easier if I can clear that out. There's that key, so we're opening this. Uh, let's go for a stripe, and I'm going to start trying to take these guys out. Oh, I can start working now on the cake, right? There we go, and I've got a beautifully placed stripe. I can make a stripe or I can make a wrap. The wrap is good if I can pair it with this. The stripe is good, presumably, whether or not I can pair it. Oh, here we go. This is beautiful. Guess what? We're going to collect that key. We're going to take out that cake bomb because this motion here is going to uh, give us, uh, it's going to cut a swath that goes up here, over here, and down here. So it's going to take out one section of this cake quadrant and one section of this cake quadrant. It's also going to be hitting this. So this will take out one wedge and one wedge in this quadrant. So this will be gone. That will take out a layer of everything. That means this will be gone and all of these locks will be gone. And so we will have opened this up. Now I still haven't figured out how to advance this because it looks like what I need to do, and I wasn't paying attention to this portion, is when this is in a, a position to be dropped, I need to clear out some of this. And then when it's in a position to be dropped, I need to clear out some of this. I'm going to have to pay attention to that. So this is in a position to be dropped there, and that allowed it to happen. And now I have to bring it down further. It's positioned well. I didn't realize I was going to get so much licorice here. So I'm going to take out the licorice and bring this down. Now I can't reach the licorice, and that seems to be the crux of this here. This is the problem with this board. I can make a raft or I can make a stripe. I, I need more forces. I need to try to pair that raft with a stripe. And since I had that um, dispenser, I thought that would be a good choice. But look at this. I'm curtailed in what I can do here. Even if I do this, it, a stripe only cuts through one little bit of licorice. It didn't set up so that I would have the opportunity to take out a whole bunch of licorice at once so very close to the goal, but missed by a net swing, as they say. So what I'm going to do is pause, come back with a new board. I've got a good plan, but I wasn't paying attention to this guy enough. So I'm going to proceed with that plan and hope to get a better setup here or, or more moves so I can work harder on that. I'm going to do it with the microphone off initially, but then once I solve this, I'll come back through and narrate everything for you. Okay, so here we go. One thing that I really learned is it's all about the keys here. You really have to prioritize the keys. As a matter of fact, I'm a little bit worried that this guy could slide in through here. I don't really want to open that up. 
I want to bring the dragon down after I get the keys. I want to take out that cake bomb after I get the keys. That's paramount, and I'll show you why by the conclusion of this. So I do want to set up to try to strike that cake bomb, but I want to wait until I get those chests cleared. So what is going to best bring the keys down? I think that move, I can take out this stripe now. It takes out something. Here we go. I'm about ready to try to bring him down. I want to bring him all the way down. So I'm going to make a move under this to bring him into this area. And now I need to prioritize the key. Where's the key? I need to open this up. So let's bring that key. There we go. There's the key. Now that that has happened, I'm going to take out the cake bomb. Watch what happens when I take out the cake bomb. It takes out a layer of everything, including everything that was under that dragon. Now, can you beat this if there's st still some residue under that dragon? Yes. Can you beat it by employing a different strategy? Yes. But I found that... And, and even though it didn't always work seamlessly like that, where there was absolutely nothing under that dragon after that cake bomb took off, um, it, it, I still kept getting closer and closer employing that strategy of making sure I collected those keys than any other strategy I tried. It really only took between 10 and 15 tries because it took me a few tries to to look at some different strategies, and then a few attempts with this new strategy to be able to get everything done. The keys are key, in my opinion. If you have any questions or comments, if you have a different strategy that worked better for you, please put those comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.